Hello out there subscribers and friends, this is Surviving 2 coming at you with another video. Hello out there in YouTube land. Well, back at you with another video. I've got one here that uh, I'm kind of experimenting with. I've uh, been doing a lot of experimentation lately. And this one is involving straws cotton balls and some tea lights now what I've done is I took a cotton ball and I stretched it out real thin and I took a stick and just went ahead and start shoving it in one end of the straw and got it to go all the way down through then I took the tea light and I would start burning it and melting it down a little bit and then I poured it in the end just enough to kind of saturate or at least I hope just enough to saturate the cotton a little bit but not all the way. Then I took it and I used my little pair of scissors here on my Leatherman Micarta and I had cut it off about however long I thought it was then I'd flip the end of it up and stuff that end back down in there because remember it's continuous throughout the straw so I'd stiff it in there a little bit so I could gain a little room and I'd take the, key, the tea candle and pour some more wax down inside of it and I kept going and I made four of them so I don't know how this is going to work out we're going to find out together and I tell you what let's take and I don't remember which one was the first one I made they're all four different sizes let's take the smallest one because if it uh, works then that'll be great now what I'm going to do I'm going to take my knife and I'm going to take and score it and open it up hopefully and expose the cotton and I'm hoping that there is some cotton in here some fibers Let's see if that's on camera so yeah I've got some fibers there so the wax didn't make it all the way through so a fire steel should be able to start that with no problem Although I don't have a fire steel handy, I do have a lighter. This is what I use to seal the ends of them with. I would take one and hold it in between the pliers and just burn it until it sealed back up. And it became sealed, so let's move this so we don't have an accident. And we'll take and fire that up and see what we get okay I see I gotta pull more of it out of there than just that even though let's take and slice this thing a couple of times here Do this so I don't slice myself up. Okay. Now what I'm going to do? I made two slits in there. I'm going to get the knife in between the two of them and cut a section of it out. Pull a little of the cotton out again. Let's try again. Let's see what we get. Got a lot of wind right here. Let's cut some of that wind off. See what we get. Still burning. And 
in so it's 635 36 on the nose not a very big flame but it is a flame now maybe what I need to do is when I open one up is go ahead and take and pull everything out of the inside of it with the wax it should stay pretty dry but there are portions of it that are not they don't have wax and that's what I'm kind of hope I was hoping for on this I was hoping for a little wax at both ends and no wax kind of in the middle of it so that way it would be easy to start with a ferrule rod but yet it'd be long, uh, long burning and it looks like it's uh, doing pretty good so we'll just see uh, how far it goes and I'll go ahead and probably fast forward some of this until it gets down close to the end Well, we're about to lose it. Yep, just lost it. And it is, that went for about four minutes. That's almost exactly four minutes long. That's not too bad. If you can't get a fire started without that, I think there's a problem. <laughs> you better be looking for something else. <coughs> Excuse me. You better be looking for some other information. And that's all the candle that I used up when I was doing all four of them. So that's not a lot. That candle should go for a pretty good while. And I also picked up some other candles I've been playing around with. Now these, they're luminescence candles. And I'm not sure, but... It doesn't feel like regular doesn't feel like regular wax in it it breaks up real easy so and when I started it once it almost went by it says it's like it's got something in it to, to add to fire so I think I'm gonna try a few with this stuff in there and once I figure out a way of melting it down I don't need to melt a whole lot at one time I might get a blank tea candle uh, cup the little metal tin that surrounds it you know this little tin right there I might try that uh, putting it in there and melting it down don't know yet I'll have to figure something out but anyway I think that did pretty good oh uh, something else I got for you guys out there I got this got a lanyard on it it's a little plastic container my other half went to a trade show and picked it up I think that is gonna make a pretty good little don't know what survival kit fishing kit not sure. I hadn't quite figured out what I'm going to do with it. But I know it's waterproof. Got an O-ring on it here. Along with the lanyard, you can keep it around your neck if you need to. So, don't know. Any thoughts out there? What do you guys think? Maybe you all help me make up my mind. <laughs> you all take care. Later. I want to thank you for watching this video and I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see more in the future that I put out, just subscribe. Until then, later.